dear friends so today we are going to discuss infinite pulley system so question is consider a system of infinite pulleys as shown in the figure find the acceleration of the topmost mass only this mass acceleration is required so to proceed further we will assume that this part of the system is separated it has a different mass we will call this mass as m dash this part is going to come downwards and this mass is going to move upwards this single string would have a tension say t and this part let us assume its mass is m dash here tension is t of course tension is tension is always a pair of two forces so this t is going to act upwards on mass small m whereas uh, same tension would act downwards on this pulley same way this string is same so tension in this part is also equal to t whereas uh, downward force on the pulley would also be equal to t so that means <coughs> since this pulley is going to remain at rest no change in its uh, position no acceleration hence net force on this pulley must be equal to zero since it doesn't have any mass pulleys are massless this pulley doesn't have any mass that means net force on this pulley is going to be zero so it has no weight it is being acted upon only by forces t downwards t downwards and a force upwards so this force must balance these two forces that is tt each acting downwards so the upward force here must be equal to 2t now force on this pulley would also be equal to t this whole string is single string tension is t upwards here tension t is downwards on the pulley here tension t is upwards on this system again equal to t so you will have to recall the acceleration and tension calculated for a two body system in a derivation of laws of motion in which two masses m1 was greater than m2 were connected through a string string passes over a pulley so you must know this derivation completely before proceeding ahead so if you are not uh, able to recall in that case let me just shortly complete the things on this mass uh, force m1 g was downwards tension t was upwards net force is equal to mass into acceleration m1 into a whereas on this uh, free body diagram the force uh, on this mass was uh, downwards due to gravity m2 g but it was about to accelerate upwards so tension was greater than weight so t minus m2 g equal to m2 a on adding these two you get acceleration on substituting the value of a in either of the two equations you get tension so please remember dear friend t equal to 2 m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 into g in this string tension was twice the product of masses divided by the sum of the masses into g so we are about to use this result so let me remove it so we are having a system on right hand side there is a mass equal to m dash on left hand side there is a mass equal to m and tension in this situation is going to be t equal to 2 m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into g but since m1 is taken as small m and m2 is taken as m dash so let us replace m1 by m and m2 by m dash now why i have written 2t here because tension in this part same way we are about to calculate in this part tension in this part was equal to 2t so i have multiplied this expression by 2 also so twice of t is equal to tension in this part now m1 is replaced by m m2 is replaced by m dash further now let us consider this part only now this ceiling this roof was not accelerating so this pulley was experiencing an acceleration equal to g due to gravity so here we have written g here we have written g but 
as far as this part is concerned this pulley is not steady this system is uh, about to accelerate this part is going to accelerate upwards with an acceleration a whereas this part is going to accelerate downwards with an acceleration a so this is like a case of a lift which was accelerating downwards with an acceleration a so you can recall inside a lift accelerating downwards with an acceleration a there the acceleration experienced inside the lift called apparent acceleration that was given by g minus a so this system is not going to experience acceleration equal to g due to gravity but acceleration experienced is g minus a so the way we have written tension here that was 2t same way we are going to about this tension this tension t would be equal to same expression only change g is not equal to g it is g minus a so here we tension was 2t so we wrote 2t equal to twice twice the product of masses sum of masses into g same way tension here is t but this system is again an infinite system only one mass has been removed so same way we can write t here is equal to twice again twice the product of masses divided by sum of masses but instead of g you would write my dear friend g minus a so let us replace this t and this t because in the final answer we are going to get only acceleration g and maybe these masses also which i do not know what is going to be the answer but t is to be replaced so let us uh, substitute this t here and we'll get an expression like this this term replaces t so 2 2 m m dash sum of the masses is same on both sides dear dear friend cancel these out you are about to write equation 2 into g minus a equal to g expand the bracket 2g minus 2a equal to g and 2a on right hand side g on left hand side and you reach the answer that is acceleration equal to g by 2 hope i succeeded in my mission you have understood completely please like the video if you have uh, got it in a fine way share with uh, with it uh, with others and subscribe the channel classes as uh, dear friends you know classes are at chandigarh also available classes are at mohali also thank you for watching